day off and ready to go. Would Kirk Hunter be available to be used tonight if uh, Jeff has struggles with his wrist injury and Shooter needs some time on the bench? Oh, yeah, uh, Kirk will be dressed and available you know, for any circumstances, for anything we need. Okay. How long does it take to get a new player kind of indoctrinated into your system? Obviously, it's not like a overnight plug and play thing. Um, it takes some time to kind of get get the system and the I guess the terminology and everything down. Um, yeah, I think so, and, and sometimes it, it actually can be the opposite. Um, I think he's been in the league a long time. I think he's a really smart player, and it's a lot more just playing basketball and reading and reacting to each other, and as opposed to sometimes trying to learn a bunch of plays or have to be in this spot on this play and a different spot on that play. And so sometimes it actually can work in reverse. Um, just each guy's a little different, and you know I think Kurt. You know, the feedback is, you know, he's picking up everything very quickly. And um, I think he would do the same, you know, no matter what offense or defense you're doing. He's just a smart player. Golden State plays small a lot anyway, but without uh, without Zealy and maybe without Bogut tonight, does that change anything that you might do rotationally? Um, maybe go a little smaller, match them, or try to go big to offset that? Um, normally, we kind of just stick with our um, normal rotations. And I think Paul and Al have given us that. You know, I think the confidence and I would argue the luxury to just you know, continue to kind of stay the course because they can guard smaller guys, they can guard bigger guys. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if there's something that feels right and, you know, slide some guys down and play and match up. Um, but more often than not, we stay with kind of our normal things. But without Tiago and all that, you're never, never sure exactly how to play. <laughs>